Good morning and welcome to HurricaneFury.com and here's the latest on Hurricane Ida. As we said last night that the storm would reach hurricane strength. The hurricane hunters went out into the system uh, during the night and found 90 mile per hour winds late last night and uh, 984 millibar central pressure. So Hurricane Ida is definitely a hurricane this morning. I expect that Ida will continue to strengthen some today and will reach a Cat 2 hurricane by later today or tonight. The reason for me thinking this is because the Ida will be moving over warm ocean waters for the next 24 hours or so and it will be an environment that's somewhat favorable. I suspect that Ida will peak between 100 and 105 mile per hour sometimes this afternoon and tonight. Gust and Ida will be uh, up to 130 to 40 miles per hour. As we get into Monday and Tuesday, Ida will be tracking into cooler surface water temperatures during Monday. And also, it will be running into some higher wind shear. Although I continue to believe that Ida will forward motion will be lined up with the southwesterly wind shear and called net shear or nearly zero thus not weaken as quickly as we would normally see. The global models forecast that Ida will start become extra tropical on Tuesday. I'm not convinced that Ida will be extra tropical by the time it reaches the northern Gulf Coast. The latest GFDL model forecasts that Ida will continue north and northwest and be a Cat 1 hurricane near Mobile, Alabama sometimes late Monday night. The latest HWRF model forecasts that Ida will come ashore as a Cat 1 hurricane near Pensacola, Florida by midnight on Monday night. I also disagree with the National Hurricane Center and do not believe that Ida will be an extra tropical system by the time it reaches the shore. I still believe that the system will have a warm core low and will be a tropical system when it reaches either the Mississippi Gulf Coast or the Florida Panhandle. Ida is currently tracking to the northwest at a forward speed of 12 miles per hour. Ida is forecast to come very close to the north or the northeastern tip of the Yucatan Peninsula early this afternoon. The Ida will track into the Gulf of Mexico tonight and then speed up and forward speed on Monday based on the latest global guidance and also the strength. I have to disagree with the National Hurricane Center and the timing of Ida. I do think the storm will reach the northern Gulf Coast quicker than the National Hurricane Center forecasts. In fact, the GFS model forecasts is idle to make landfall in the extreme western Florida panhandle on Tuesday morning. Your models are saying it will come ashore on Monday night and as does the GFDL and HWRL and the Canadian models. So my thinking is that Ida will come ashore on the northern Gulf Coast on Monday evening and then come ashore somewhere between uh, Pensacola, Florida and Gulfport, Mississippi. The strength of Ida looks like it will be around between 65 mile per hour tropical storm to 80 mile per hour Cat 1 hurricane. Folks along the Mississippi Gulf Coast and Alabama and Florida coast should keep monitoring this system during the day today and be watching for some warnings being posted somewhere along the Mississippi and Alabama and Florida coastline. This is HurricaneFury.com. Keep us posted. Keep us tuned in, and we'll keep you posted. Have a great day.